So today we're going to be learning uh, how to cut cotyledons for transformation. This is specific to the tomato uh, protocol, but it can be adjusted to other protocols as well. What we're going to do first is we're going to make the culture that we're going to put the tomatoes on. Uh, so what we're using is sterile filter paper. As you can see in here, these have been autoclaved. We're going to take one out and place it in the petri dish. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. Now we use uh, nine centimeter diameter filter papers as this allows for the greatest surface area so that we can put as many cotyledons on the paper as we desire. Uh, however, a smaller paper can be used that fits um, better inside the petri dish if that is desired. So once we have our filter paper in place, we're gonna take some sterile MS medium, liquid medium that we have already prepared. And we take that and we're going to pipette two milliliters of media onto the filter paper. And all of the stuff was sterilized ahead of time. So now we set all of those aside and now we're going to get into cutting. So here we have our tomato cotyledons. Uh, these are sterile tomato plants that have been growing for two weeks. Uh, they were sterilized via procedure that um, I've also written up if anybody needs to look at that. <laughs> Another procedure to follow. So from here we're going to open up our GA7. it aside, open up our plate, grab our tweezers and our scalpel, the blade, stick them in the bead sterilizer 10 seconds. I'm taking a couple plants out. We'll do them one at a time so they don't dry out. So we're going to start by grabbing the plant at the base of the stem, so right where it meets the media, and we're going to squeeze and pull it out. Usually you'll get a few a uh, little bit roots with your little plant. We're gonna place it on our sterile petri dish. This is uh, not the lid to this plate. This is a different um, sterile lid that we'll be using to cut on. Take our scalpel and we're going to quickly cut off the root. This is trash, so we're gonna put it to the side over here. Next, we're going to cut at the base that we just had the meristem. Uh, currently in culture, we have been using the meristem, so we can cut that up as well. However, if your procedures either don't use meristem, you can uh, discard this as trash as well. We're gonna cut this into small pieces, and we're going to immediately transfer them to the media so they do not dry out. All this being done using proper sterile technique, these are the true leaves that are a waste, and these are the cotyledons. So, we'll set the true leaves aside. Most tomato plants have two cotyledons per plant. So we're going to start by cutting off the tip of the leaves, like so, and discarding that, and then cutting at the base of the leaf starting that. So about this size is probably about as big as we want to go. And even a little bit bigger would be fine as well. So again, we're going to immediately transfer these to our media. And once uh, you're done at GA7, the plate should look something similar to like this, where we have a full plate where, but not overcrowded with a combination of meristems and cotyledons. You can separate these two if you would like or leave them all combined, that is a preference. 